Hey guys, so the new update dropped with casual mode and with the new casual mode update also dropped new skins. Well, for those of you that aren't aware, a couple of weeks ago the Tower Hero team did an art contest on their Discord to get your skin in the game. And the skins that won look absolutely amazing. So today, I want to take the time to take a closer look at all four contest skins that got added and give my opinion on them. I am super, super excited to see those. As, from what I can see from the concept art, these skins are on a whole nother level. Without further ado, let's jump straight into the first one. So the first skin that we're going to take a look at is Pizza Card Kit created by Quell. And wow, the level 1 looks amazing. I love the fridge, all the pizzas are super cool. And it just really sells the vibe of it being somebody that makes pizzas. Heading over to the level 1 card and it looks absolutely adorable. The little hand painted sign is super cute. I love the little flag. Wow, this is a really cool summon. Coming up at level 2, we see the default tent that every card kit skin has so far. But we still see the cool fridge in the back. And we see the super cool hand painted sign now on the tent. Which is super cool. I guess Pizza Card Kit just really wanted to get in the shade because it's so hot outside. As for his summon, he now rides around in a wooden crate and he has a pizza on the front. I'm not sure if you still want to eat that pizza, but it looks kind of cool. Coming up at level 3, Card Kit finally bought a house and I absolutely love the little chef hat that I put on. The pizza scattered around look really cool and it's quite a unique skin so far. But coming up is probably my favorite summon out of all the card kit levels. It is the level 3 card kit and he basically just sits in a pizza box. This is such a cool summon. I absolutely love this one. Coming up to level 4, he created his own restaurant. I absolutely once again love the hand painted sign. I'm so happy they didn't use a digital font but actually hand painted it. It looks really authentic, it looks like Card Kit did it himself. And something that fits really cool in Card Kit's personality which I absolutely love. Card Kit now also drives a little bit more of a traditional Card Kit car. But he has all the pizzas on the back ready to deliver all those pizzas to all the customers that he has made. And the final level looks amazing. I was really unsure what they would do with the trophy. But what they created is super cool. I absolutely love the little smoke particle effects that it does every time. And this looks absolutely amazing. I love how he sits on the pizza. It's so cute. The chef hat is cute. And for the summon we basically have the default card. He put a pizza on the top again. Once again I don't know if you want to eat those. And he has the little eat sign again. Which once again I absolutely love the hand painted signs. It fits his character so, so well. Coming up for the next skin. This one for Lemonade Cat. Created by Mustachio Tuna. And wow level 1 is cool. The bite out of the surfboard is amazing. I absolutely love the font they used to spell melon. He looks so cute. The little wooden planks on his counter look amazing. The bamboo sticks, absolutely amazing. The flower is cool. This is absolutely a top tier level 1 lemonade cat skin. Coming up at level 2, I like it a little bit less, but it is still super cute. We finally get to see Lemonade Cat in a little summer dress that she has, and she's now selling melon sap. I'm not sure how tasty that sap will be, but it is still pretty cool. You actually feel the summer in the skin, and that's what I like so much about it. It is so much of a team change, and it just fits so, so well. At level 3 though, we absolutely arrive at something amazing. I 
love this one. Like, if you go on vacation, you see this in every hotel that is tropical. It is so funny to see this. I love the little drank stints on the back. I just, I love this. The model is so good on this one. Honestly, level 4 doesn't change too much. But the things that it change, I absolutely love. The little palm tree is cool, but wasn't really necessary in my opinion. The torches are amazing. They are a little bit dangerous being so close to the roof. So I would really watch out, Lemonade Cat, so your house doesn't get set on fire. And the little stools in front of the bar. Oh my god, that's cool. But when talking about the skin... We need to talk about the final level because when I saw the concept art, I got so excited and so hyped for the last level. This is without a doubt the best max level Lemonade Cat skin in the game. Best level 5. This is so cool. I absolutely love it. It references the towers. It is Wow, it is so cool. It really reminds me of the Dev Hilo skin, but better. This is so well executed. I absolutely love it. Like the only little complaint that you could have say is that maybe like the shirt on Scientist doesn't have the wood texture. And maybe like some wooden chips being cut out of the model is like the only little complaint you could have. But this is absolutely amazing. Like... If you pull this out of your crate, use it. This is such a nice skin. Coming up to the number 3, we got the first of the two Spectres. Yep, Spectre got two skins this time. First we will take a look at 80 Spectre. Created by Poisonous. And oh my god. God, when I saw the concept art, I wasn't really convinced, but seeing it in the game changed my mind. This looks so nice. Oh my god, it looks cool. And then you go to level 2, and it looks so funny. Like, the glasses are amazing. I love the little dog tag that it has, and the boombox, cool. Like, amazing. Like, this is such a cool skin. Coming up to level 3, we might have the fan favorite so far for the Spectre skins. I see everybody loves level 3. And I can see why. Level 3 is so well designed. The backwards cap is amazing. I love how the horns get through the hat. But it still feels natural. The shades are amazing. And the little boombox that it has, super cool. But then we get to level 4. Which is always people's least favorite as it looks so goofy. And they did level 4 amazing. I absolutely love level 4. Normally I never like level 4 of Spectre skins. This is the exception. This is so well designed. It looks amazing. The shades are cool. I love the little earrings that it has. The guitar. Oh my god. is amazing. But... Of course, we also have level 5. And level 5 looks nice. I gotta say, there is a little complaint. I wish they did a little bit more with the speaker tower. But other than that, this looks amazing. The guitar is awesome. Spectre itself is absolutely amazing. This might be one of the best Spectre skins. However... It is not quite the best Spectre skin. Because, without a doubt, Weeping Angel Spectre that got added this update, created by Floopsy, is my new favorite Spectre skin. And might be even one of my new favorite skins in the game. The concept is amazing. It looks cute. It has custom animations. It is absolutely fantastic. Level 1, really sad. And like the fact that they slow down the animation to really give the feel of it being sad. Is such a smart move. I love this. Level 2, unfortunately, doesn't change that much. But it does get the awesome, awesome wings. First of all, these wings are really well 3D modeled. So we gotta give credit to that. It looks 
super cute. Once again, they get slowed down the animation, which really gets you into the feel of Weeping Angel. And I absolutely love that. But, oh boy, oh boy, we get to level 3. And this is cool. First of all, custom animation, amazing. His face looks cute. He's still got the cool wings. Like, it would be super hard to convince me that there is a better level 3 Spectre skin in the game. It looks so amazing. I love this. But it doesn't stop there. Because at level 4, we also got such an amazing skin. Now, we do got to say... The wings look a little bit iffy, but still really cool. I absolutely love this. The little stand it stands on is amazing. He still looks cute. His animation actually feels really floaty and light, which I really, really like. And of course, last but not least, level 5. Oh my god. This is the best Spectre skin in the game. The way how he plays the harp. Amazing. He is calm. He is collected. He's still a little bit crying. The pillar is amazing. The wing is amazing. The color scheme is amazing. This is without a doubt the best Spectre skin in the game. I love it. Like, I absolutely love it. It's so well designed. I really hope I get the skin. It is amazing. Ah, yes. Just as I thought. They look so good in game. I am so so happy. These might be the four best skins that Tower Heroes ever gotten. Except for the Ram skin, of course, let's be honest. I am so impressed by the modeling work, by the animation work, and by the amazing designs that the contest winners came up with. It is absolutely amazing. For me personally, I am in love with Weeping Angel Spectre and I will do anything in my power to get that skin, aka opening crates. Wow, it's so cool. Let me know what your favorite is in the comments below. Honestly, I absolutely love the fact that they do skin contests like these. It really gives the amazing artist of the Pixelbit Discord a chance to shine and show what they are capable of. And I absolutely love that. I really hope they will do it more in the future. But anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video and want to see more, please hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.